tornado in progress. This weekend, a storm chaser caught it all on camera right as it destroyed a house. Take a look. This is in western Minnesota near the border with North Dakota. The tornado touched down last night, crossing an open field and hitting a farmhouse. You can see the debris from the house flying everywhere. The good news, the farmhouse was empty at the time and no injuries were reported from the storm. Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. It was just amazing. Look, looked like a Hollywood production. Meanwhile, here in southern New England, we are looking at beautiful weather. We looked at beautiful weather throughout the entire weekend, and it's going to continue into the week. But there are some slight changes that we have to talk about. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing no showers, no thunderstorms out there. But we have seen some patches of clouds coming on through associated with some showers and thunderstorms that were upstream earlier in the uh, day. Live city cam picture. Nice view, 72 degrees with a wind from the south at 7. Dew point high at 68. Those southerly winds bringing in the higher dew points and temperatures not falling all that far. 69 in Taunton, 71 New Bedford, Newport at 71, Providence and Smithfield in the lower 70s right down. They probably won't be falling too much farther during the overnight. We see some clouds coming on through right now. Some showers and thunderstorms off to our north will be passing to our north. Cold front will be working its way on off to the south over the next 24 hours and it'll be kind of dying off or weakening a little bit as it works its way into New England. But out ahead of it, we might find a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms during the daytime tomorrow. Let's take a look at it with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 neighborhood future cast. Through the night, pretty quiet, just some patches of clouds, 8 o'clock in the morning. Look at some sunshine and some clouds looking at an isolated shower or thunderstorm during the afternoon and especially away from the south coast and that trend will continue into tomorrow evening nothing widespread just a couple of pop-up showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon into the early evening partly cloudy skies tonight uh, at times mostly cloudy with some areas of fog overnight lows in the 60s morning commute partly cloudy dry looking at a pretty quiet day taking you into the afternoon hours we'll call it partly cloudy with temperatures topping out in the mid to upper Upper 80s. Winds from the southwest, 5 to 12 miles an hour, will continue to provide us with some warm and humid air. 87 in Riverside, Warwick, and Cranston, around 88 degrees along the south shore with that wind off of the relatively cool Atlantic water. We're looking at slightly cooler temperatures along the south shore, about 83, 84, 85 degrees or so. 87 in Escohee, 86 in Richmond, up in northern Rhode Island. Better, uh, best chance for showers and thunder would be up here near Pasco and Slatersville and on over into Cumberland and Lincoln, but they should be rather isolated. Not everyone will see one with that blend of clouds and sunshine. Over in southeastern Mass, Dighton to New Bedford, on over into Westport, about 84, 87 degrees. With a chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm, best chances would be away from the south coast. 85 in Bristol, 83 degrees or so in Middletown. If you are heading to the beaches, Horseneck Beach in Westport. We're Westport, we're looking at temperatures to be topping out at around 83 degrees, the blend of sunshine and clouds, and the small chance of a passing shower. Out in the bays, winds from the southwest, 5 to 15 knots, waves 1, maybe up to 3 feet with some higher sets near the uh, mouth of the bays. Visibility should be unrestricted. Seven-day future cast, few showers, thunderstorm tomorrow night, isolated thunderstorm Tuesday, Wednesday looks dry, another chance of showers and thunderstorms Thursday night into the morning on Friday, then it'll be nice and comfortable as we head into next weekend. And for the Pinpoint Futurecast anytime, check out our iPhone app. You can download it using iTunes. Just search for WPRI. So overall, the week ahead looks to be pretty decent if you're on vacation. Just a couple of showers and thunderstorms from time to time. Thanks, TJ. Still to come on Eyewitness.